Hello, my name is Nuri Jardeb, and this is my presentation about my very first website, EZA. The next slides will be about how I completed my requirements for this project. I used white space by keeping spaces between the nested code, such as the div blocks, to help the reader not feel overwhelmed by the code. I used indenting to help separate the code inside the nest from its main tag. For example, after the head tag in the beginning, I indented before the title tag that was nested under the head tag so that the reader would easily differentiate between what is nested under the main tag, that is like the head tag, and what is not, that is like the title tag. I used comment markers to describe the different sections of my website. For example, under the H2 tag, I used a comment marker to denote that it was a header with links to other pages. This is my plan for my first web page, the home page. I did this sketch on Google Drawings. This plan looks quite different from the actual first page as I started to manipulate HTML and inline styling a bit more to make my website much more attractive and appealing to the viewer. This is my plan for my website's second web page, the About Us section. Like mentioned before, this plan looks a bit different from the actual version. This is my plan for my website's third web page, the Math section. The plan also looks a bit different from the actual version. Yes, I have read and followed the guidelines and the rubric. I used a relative path above, which is pix slash founder underscore photo underscore link dot png to make the computer look through the local folder called pix and get the image. The local folder pix is in the dot zip file that I turned in. I have submitted my plans in .png format as shown above. I downloaded my plans from Google Drawings in .png format to do this. I zipped my website code in one file called Nearjar Website 1 to take up less space when someone downloads it. Basically, it compresses the files inside. In order for the website to function, however, one would have to unzip the files by extracting them to a user-specified location. I used diff blocks to help me define my website into sections so that when I use CSS, I can name the div blocks and then apply a code to them that will take effect on the code in the div block. As shown here, I have used the header tags correctly to make different sized headers. I used the image tag to display an image on the web page as shown here. The image tag is self-closing. The arrow image is the image displayed on the About Us page by the code shown here. As shown here, I used the A tags or anchor tags correctly for doing hyperlinks. For example, I've used this in my navigation bar to continuously switch back and forth between the pages. As shown here, I used the OL tags correctly for making an ordered list, or a list using numbers in my case. Over here, I used the UL tags correctly for making an unordered list, or a list with bullet points. As shown in the screenshot, I used the li tags correctly to make items in a list.
As shown here, I used the alt text and title text attributes and an image tag correctly. Alt text is used to tell visually impaired people what the image is by speaking it out loud. Also, when the image is unable to show up, the alt text is shown. Title text is shown when one hovers over an image. As shown here, I use the P tags correctly to make paragraph text. As displayed in the screenshots, I use the basic HTML layout tags to correctly help start out the layout of my site. Doc type HTML tells the system that the code will be written in HTML5. HTML lang equal en is the language attribute that declares English as the default language in the page and is where the HTML code starts. The head element tells the browser information about the web page that will not be directly displayed on the page itself. The head element is closed by the slash head tag. The body tag is where the displayable content starts and the slash body closing tag is where this content ends. The slash HTML tag is where the HTML code ends. I have three pages regarding EZA, which is my topic. It is meaningful as it teaches types of numbers on the bottom page of the first list, and it has a lot of content and images. As shown here, I have used red arrows to demonstrate how I used a div block layout. As shown on the screenshots, I have used three different header sizes, H1, H2, and H4. I have fulfilled the image amount requirement of two images per page as shown here in the pink circles. The navigational menu leads back and forth between the pages and uses div blocks to keep it separate from other content. Also to create hyperlinks, it has the A tags or anchor tags. This ordered list is ordered by numbers and is about future math content. This unordered list is a math lesson regarding number types. It is really informative and educational. These are two hyperlinks. The first one leads to a new tab because this target attribute is underscore blank. The other one leads to replacing the tab the user is currently on because its target attribute is underscore self. In the example shown here, I used p tag elements to contain some paragraph text in the about us section. I have learned a lot in this project, such as how to start HTML code using doc type, making hyperlinks using attributes, and arranging my code using div blocks. I learned that I sometimes have to do some self-learning, research, and push myself to take my project to the next level. For example, I wanted to center my image. I first thought that I could use the align attribute equal to middle to center my image. Then it didn't work, so I searched on W3Schools website for how to do it. I found out that the center tag would do it effectively. I had to do this for particular pieces of the code that Codecademy did not teach, such as the inline styling attributes and coloring. I could use the skills I learned in this project to help me design websites to support my career. For example, I want to become a criminal lawyer. I could buy a web hosting program and then create a website using HTML to promote my services as the world's best criminal lawyer. Okay. That was a joke. The next part of this video will display the actual site 
and at school functions. Gear up and get ready.